Hey guys, welcome back to another Z Code System video. And this week, we're going to talk to you a little bit about the elite European soccer predictions for Saturday, April 20th. And of course, you can go over to the sports predictions and picks on the Z Code System blog, and you can check out all the great information that we have there and the articles that have been posted, including this article here about the soccer predictions. Uh, and as well as you can check out some of the information about the NBA playoffs and uh, the different systems to follow in April with Z Code System. Now, guys, let's look at some of these elite European soccer predictions that uh, I have outlined for you today. And here we are in the Z Code System VIP Club. And of course, you can become a member and have access to all of the insight on the VIP Club. Uh, with just a click of a button, a click by a mouse, if you will. And here we go with our drop down box. And as you can see, a lot of games going on this weekend. And I am just going to look down here for the first game that we're going to look at. And that is the Tottenham Hotspur versus Manchester City game that is going to be played on Saturday, April 20th in the English Premier League. Now, these two teams burning red hot right now. Uh, Tottenham Hotspur, three straight wins. And as you can see, Manchester City, they did suffer a loss just uh, just last week, that is, uh, in the Champions League. And the team that beat them was Tottenham Hotspur. Now, of course, that was a Champions League game um, played at Tottenham Hotspur's brand new stadium with Spurs coming away with a 1-0 win, uh, a 70th minute goal from Hyung Min Sun. Now, they are going to mix it up once more in the Champions League this week before this Premier League match takes place. So there's going to be a lot of different moving parts when this game kicks off on Saturday at 12.30 p.m. British time. Um, Tottenham go into the fixture with some injury concerns as star striker Harry Kane is going to be out for what looks like the rest of the season with uh, another ankle injury. He has lots of problems with his ankles, lots of injuries over the years with his ankles. He's damaged his ligaments uh, in his ankle once more. Deli Alley looks like he's going to be out of the, well, right now we're not sure if he's going to be out of that fixture. He could be out of the midweek fixture with Manchester City in the Champions League. No word yet on the weekend. He looks to have possibly broken some bones in his hand and wrist uh, in the previous match with Manchester City. Uh, if we take a look just at the head-to-head -head right here between these two teams, and if we take out that recent Champions League uh, win from Tottenham Hotspur, we can see that Manchester City have really dominated those last four fixtures between the two sides. Uh, Spurs did pick up a win there in October of 2016, but uh, and as well as February 2016. But you know those those results were a bit far away. Um, Manchester City much improved in that time. Spurs, their biggest problem is a lack of depth right now, especially with these injuries piling up and fatigue piling up. So. Wednesday night's Champions League game is going to have a big effect, a, a, a big um, determining factor on what's going to happen at the weekend. Now, City are two points behind league leaders Liverpool for the title. They do have a game in hand, so a lot to play for still. City have several fixtures piling up right now, and that could become a problem uh, come the end of the season with this run-in with Liverpool. But with Tottenham's injuries... And with City being able to find a second and a third gear in games for, for most of the part, um, Manchester City are my pick to win this game. They're playing at home as well, playing at the Itahad, and uh, they'll have their supporters behind them. So a Manchester City win when they play Tottenham Hotspur at the weekend on Saturday, April 20th. And that will take them back to the top of the league, at least for 24 hours. Now, let's take a look at uh, two other games that I have picked out here. And for this game, we're going to go to Italy. And we're going to look at Juventus and Fiorentina. And uh, this is a game in which we're going to see a Fiorentina team very much struggling in uh, the Italian Serie A. They have recently changed managers. Stefano Pioli was sacked and uh, Vincenzo Montello was brought in to take over the La Viola. Uh, Montello previously coached Fiorentina and probably had his most success as a coach uh, while coaching them. And uh, Fiorentina did uh, reach uh, quite high in the table with him at the helm. Now, they are taking on Serie A's first place team, and that is Juventus, who are on their way to winning yet another Italian title. Uh, Juventus did uncharacteristically lose last weekend 2-1 to 14th place Spall, but that has to be taken with a bit of a grain of salt. Manager Massimiliano Allegri 
did change up a lot uh, of his players that have been playing for the most part this season. Cristiano Ronaldo was sat out. Um, Juventus are going strong in the Champions League. So Allegri trying to balance his team right now with injuries and fatigue piling up, as we talked about that in the last game between Manchester City and Tottenham. This is also happening with Juventus. These teams who are playing 60 to 70 games a season are really needing um, that extra rest for their star players. And Juventus is one of those teams. So don't be surprised if Allegri does choose to rest a few of his players. Uh, for this game against Fiorentina. And once again, let's take a look at the head-to-head -head very quickly before I give you my uh, prediction for this game. As you can see, uh, Juventus with three straight wins against Fiorentina. Uh, Fiorentina's last win coming there in January 2017. Meanwhile, Juventus really dominating this uh, this series since then. And uh, in the last two matches, uh, last three matches, uh, Fiorentina unable to find the back of the net against, the, uh, against Juventus. So, I think this game is going to go the way that all the the previous three have gone, and that is with a Juventus win. Very strong team, fantastic team right now. Um, Ronaldo probably will sit out, like I said before, but you're going to see Juventus cruise to a victory here against Fiorentina um, as um, they go closer to winning yet another Scudetto. So guys, let's look at one more game, and uh, we're going to stick with uh, Italy Serie A for this one. AS Roma, and Inter Milan. So this game will be played at the San Siro in Milan. And as you can see there, Roma burning hot right now. Two straight wins and a draw going into this game. Uh, Juventus average up a win, a draw, and a win in their last three games. But this is a, a Roma team who are not scoring, uh, not scoring a lot of goals right now. Um, a team that has... You know, has seen a lot of players come and go in the last couple of seasons. Uh, just a few months ago, uh, manager Eusebio Di Francesco was sacked. Um, Claudio Ranieri was brought in to take over the club. Um, also, the director of Sport Manchi, who had engineered all of these moves, um, selling a lot of their big players and bringing in uh, very much unproven players. Um, he left as well under uh, you know, a bit of a cloud of shame, if you will. Um, you know, you can see the players that he sold um, are doing very well with Liverpool, for example, Mohamed Salah and uh, Alison Becker, two players that have been key for them. Um, those were players that Manchi decided weren't uh, weren't uh, needed uh, around the Stadio Olimpico. He sold them. And I think that you can see in Roma's results this year, they've gone from in previous seasons uh, challenging for that top two, top three place to, to right now just hoping to get uh, to finish in the top four and make the Champions League for next year. But right now, Inter third place in Syria, playing very good, and uh, they're going to be playing at home. So I think that's going to be uh, playing into their hands uh, on Saturday night. And we'll look at the head-to-head -head here. And as you can see, Inter undefeated in their last three meetings with AS Roma. Um, two of those games with over 2.5 goals uh, scored. And uh, you, know, you can go back to 2017, 2016 to see the last time Roma was able to defeat Inter. Uh, with this game coming uh, at the San Siro, but uh, a very different Roma team this is right now. Uh, and I think Inter, for me, my prediction, Inter going to come away with a, another victory uh, as they top AS Roma in, uh, in Syria in the San Siro. So guys, those are my predictions for this week and for our Z Code soccer video for the week. And uh, you can go over to Z Code System, find all of this great information at the VIP uh, the VIP fix, excuse me, the VIP picks and the VIP wall. You can check out all this great information and uh, check out all the other games that are up there and see the predictions as we get closer to kickoff on Saturday and Sunday. So, uh, guys, good luck with your betting. We hope you do very well winning your profits and uh, keeping those winning streaks going. So, for for me here at Zico System, we'll see you next week with another video. So, good luck and good betting.